Hello everybody and welcome to another CB Show Tunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a jumping motion using Unity. Now it's going to look something similar to this and we are also going to make it to where we can actually adjust how hard this is actually going to be dropping us as well as how high we're going to be hopping. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need to do is of course have a plane just to be able to have something to hop on. The next thing that you're going to want to use is to have a player or a character object. Now I'm using a simple cube for now, but if you want to use, say for instance, an animated character or whatnot, that can be accommodated using the script as well. But for now, we're just going to stick with a cube. Now on this cube or game object of yours, you're going to need a collider of some sort. Now you need to make sure that this collider is not or does not have the is trigger. So you want this object to be an actual collider so it can actually hit something. On top of that you're going to want to add a rigid body to this object and underneath the rigid body you want to go underneath constraints and add the freeze rotation values of X, Y, and Z. Now if this does not apply to your game then don't worry about it but if for the most part whenever you have characters you're going to be wanting to freeze those constraints. Now underneath rigid body you want to make sure that use gravity is on and you want to make sure that the mass is of at least the value of one. Now we cover the script. Now this script is my own personal script if you have your own script that's great and you just need to plug in certain values to make sure that this script will apply. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering the public floats inside of this, this script. So starting off, you have the public float speed. This controls how fast your character moves. On the second one, you're going to be looking at road speed. This is how fast you turn. On the third, you have your jump height, how high you hop. On the fourth is a public bull. It's called is grounded, meaning if you're on the ground, and then, of course, we have a public float gravity strength. This decides how much gravity it, we're going to be using in set or scene. Now we also have this rigid body, RB. This is going to be just specifically for this game object, so you don't need to add any form of public or private. Our underneath void start, we're going to have vector 3. Gravity S is equal to new vector 3. And we're going to make the value on the x-axis 0. Then the y-axis, we're going to be using gravity strength from this public float. And then, of course, we're going to be using 0 on our z-axis. Now, I set up this physics.gravity is equal to gravity s right here. But we could actually apply this into our void update function just for testing purposes. But whenever you're done with the testing purposes, you want to put them put this back up into void start so it only activates once. All right, so underneath this, we're going to also add RB equal to uh, get component. It's going to be a rigid body. And then we're also going to make an is grounded is equal to true. Now, underneath the void update function, if you notice this red line right here, it's looking for this function right here. So what you want to do is just simply take this function out of here, control X, and just let it follow this function right here. So wherever you put this physics.gravity, you want this to follow with it, just so we won't have any issues. All right, so here's our moving um, values or variables. Um, it's just a basic uh, movement motion and all uh, that you'll see in almost every single one of my tutorials, if you guys have ever seen the, uh, any of them. All right, underneath the um, jumping key. So we put this if value, if input dot get key, key code dot space, and then is grounded is equal to true. So basically saying whenever we're holding on the space bar and is grounded is equal to true, then we're going to apply this function right here. So outside the um, update function, we're going to add this function called void jump. And this is where all the magic happens. So this basically is going to use our rigid body and it's going to add, add force. This force is going to be a new vector 3. 
0 on the x, then our jump height, which is our value up at the top, and then 0 on our z. And of course, it makes it is grounded is equal to false. That way, we cannot activate this again until we hit something, which comes to our last one, which is our void on collision enter is grounded is equal to true. So whenever we hit something, it will make us equal true. Okay, so that's all that you guys need to know about that script. So let's go and test this out. So starting off, we're going to go over to our game view once it decides to update. I'm going to take off maximize on play so we can actually test this in real time. So I'm going to go and press play. And as you can see, I have already set my speed value to 0.1, my rotate speed value to 3, my jump height to 600, is grounded is equal to true, gravity strength is equal to a negative 60. So let's test this. Hold down space. As you can see, we're dropping pretty good. If I press 0, if you look at that, we are like flying. So let's go negative 25 for now, just so we can start falling again. Oh, I think we just went through Earth. Okay, so let's test this again. Now remember, whenever your object is actually going super fast, it will go through other objects, so you just want to make sure that you're not going super, super fast. So let's try a negative 2. Okay, so we are definitely still going too um, high. Let's try negative 10. Okay, so we're falling again, and we're going to press space. And we seem to be falling really slow. Could be good for like a space game or whatnot. Let's go and increase it to like a negative 25. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let's try a negative 35. All right, perfect. That looks actually pretty good. So let's raise our jump height. All right, that is actually really good. All right, now if you guys have any questions about this tutorial and all and how to make your character add it to the animation, let's go and actually cover that real fast just so you guys can get that covered. So, whenever you're adding your animation, let's go and just put it right here. So whenever you jump, that's where your animation is going to play. And you could just say, okay, act as a trigger, which uh, if you ever seen any form of tutorials on how to jump and all with your character, they'll explain about all that fun stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much all that we got cov to cover today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it inside the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please like it, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.